Members, thank hmm. you for that. Uh, the next speaker is Senator Niall O'Donnell, to be followed by Senator Martin Conway. Senator O'Donnell. I'll, I'll be significantly briefer. Uh, I hope the uh, Chairman uh, and Minister, thank you. You're very welcome. Um, Minister, I don't want to preempt any uh, questions which I imagine will come from uh, the Chair in a supplementary fashion uh, to what I'm going to ask you, but you touched on the issue of the Crawley report, and obviously you'll be aware of the calls from people in this House, from the Maganesby family, from very eminent and respected figures uh, in the GAA uh, in relation to the publication of that report. So you might update us uh, on the uh, current uh, status uh, of that. But um, uh, three uh, very direct uh, questions, uh, Minister, uh, and obviously uh, you'll, uh, I'm sure you'll uh, agree uh, and concede that the delay is, uh, despite all of the complexities that you have alluded to, is causing uh, further trauma to the Maganesby family. Um, taking on board those complexities that you've re referred to, what measures, uh, if any, are you currently exploring to overcome them um, to ensure that the Maganesby family uh, and indeed their legal representatives uh, have access to the findings uh, of the Crawley report? And do you uh, agree, because I know we have spoken about this previously, and I know you in a personal capacity are committed to doing all that you can to assist the Maganesby family, but do you agree that ultimately uh, not only is it untenable, but it's actually unjust um, for the state to have them uh, initiated uh, this report by uh, Garda Commissioner uh, Crawley to then uh, deny access or publication uh, of it. So, primarily, uh, the update, uh, Minister, if you can furnish us with that, and then you might refer to the three uh, questions as well. Garam Thank you, Senator. Please. Yeah, I, I'm, <clears throat> I'm keen um, that progress can be made on, on this issue. Uh, the Department has been in contact with the Office of the Attorney General. Um, advices have been received. It set out certain issues that arise uh, in respect of uh, what still is um, a legitimate expectation of confidentiality of the people who cooperated with the report uh, and indeed the rights of others who are referred to uh, in the report. Uh, whether in statements from the people who cooperated or indeed otherwise. Uh, um, this is not an easy issue. Uh, officials are also in ongoing contact with the Gardaí uh, to see how best the question of people setting aside their anonymity might be properly addressed in the light of legal issues arising. Uh, I, 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 uh, I spoke to you about this issue, Chair, uh, and I undertook that certain uh, representations that you made to me uh, would be followed up on, uh, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, and I'm, 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 I'm very keen that we could advance matters from, uh, from the current state of affairs. Uh, but I have to be frank, uh, and I say that these are not straightforward issues to find a resolution to. Um, it's not a question of simply asking somebody, are they prepared to set aside their, 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 their uh, anonymity? Uh, I have to say uh, that members might be aware um, that, that uh, there remains material in this report uh, that it is likely uh, that it will not be possible to release. Uh, but efforts are being made, uh, and I, I did indicate, Chair, uh, that I would meet the family, and I, I intend to so do at an appropriate date. Um, during um, during the summer, um, perhaps during the vacation, when 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 when, uh, when we're somewhat more free in terms of uh, of time, uh, but I, I know there are further concerns uh, that the Department of Foreign Affairs is pursuing uh, in conjunction with the authorities in Northern Ireland. Uh, but I, I, I uh, I'm anxious to help. Uh, but I'm, I'm conscious of complex legal issues uh, that will ensure that any help and assistance that we can give to the family uh, may not be as immediate uh, as might, might, be, uh, um, might be the disposition in some quarters. Senator, did you want to come back on that, Just please? briefly, and, and Minister, I, I welcome the fact that you've committed to meet uh, with the family. I think that's, that's a positive move and the right move uh, in this regard. But you'll appreciate, obviously, um, 
equal to everything that you've said about the complexities. There's already been a 30-year uh, wait in terms of um, this, th this report. And um, taking you uh, at your word, and I have no doubt uh, that you're doing all that you can in this regard, but taking you at your word, I don't know that it is sufficient at this stage um, to simply say that you know you hope to get to the point where this is resolved. Are you minded to you know call this at a particular point? Um, do you foresee it? What what is the the, the the time scale that you foresee or imagine that this would go to beyond uh, you can, uh, up to which sorry you can get to a point where you can say to the family this is what we're going to do one way or the other. Yeah, I, I am very conscious of the time here, uh, the fact that that uh, over three decades have elapsed, uh, and the uh, uh, the fact that some of the um, some of the McInnesby family are are, uh, are senior in years. Um, I'm very keen to ensure uh, that that um, an element of progress can be made. Um, however, I I I I, I, <clears throat> I want to acknowledge uh, the the. Um, uh, the political means by which uh, issues such <clears throat> as that befalling the McInnesby family are concerned may be dealt with, and, and uh, the senator in particular uh, will be aware that dealing with the uh, with the troubles uh, and the legacy of the troubles in Northern Ireland uh, is a complex task, and it's challenging. Um, I'm sure the senator sees it on a, on a, on a, on a uh, uh, daily basis um, at home, uh, and I want to point to the uh, important measures which were set out in the Stormont House Agreement, and um, which do chart a way forward for many um, of the victims' families. Uh, and I refer in particular to the Commission on Information Retrieval, uh, which will allow families direct access to information um, in confidence. And again, the Senator will be aware uh, of the persistent political stalemate in Northern Ireland, which has had the effect of delaying the putting in place uh, of these vital uh, uh, institutions, uh, which really comprise <coughs> a framework of measures uh, that will facilitate parties uh, uh, seek truth. Uh, and you know, I would hope that we could see every effort being made to re-establish the uh, executive uh, in Northern Ireland. Uh, and I, 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 uh, uh, I doubtless say, Senator, that you have a role to play in this, and I would uh, again um, exhort you to do so, uh, because I do believe that 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 the institutions under Storm and House, uh, which were agreed, uh, really uh, amount to the best means by way by which uh, many families across Northern Ireland, across the island of Ireland, uh, may find some solace and healing. I, yes, yeah, I, I agree with the Minister entirely uh, in so far that he knows where the delay is in relation to uh, the uh, unfulfilment of the mechanisms at Stormont House and Fresh Start, um, but certainly they do chart a way forward, and I think the most uh, uh, progressive uh, and positive uh, way forward uh, in, in relation to legacy uh, and victims' uh, issues. Um, but nevertheless, uh, we are uh, where we are, uh, Minister. So I do uh, concede uh, what you have said, but it goes back similar to what uh, Deputy Daly said earlier on. Um, yes, there are mechanisms there, but here we have a report that was initiated uh, by the state um, that uh, Commissioner Crawley uh, undertook. Uh, it's there, um, and it's not as if this is a family calling for uh, the beginning of a, an inquiry mechanism or, or pathway. This is something that's there uh, and is, unfortunately, given all of the reasons that you have outlined, uh, is unavailable uh, to them. And I think that just, as I said at the beginning, isn't just uh, untenable in terms of a position, but it's actually quite unjust and quite unfair. Um, that, that the family would be aware that that investigation has rightly, rightly, uh, I accept, been undertaken, uh, and they don't have uh, the access to it. But uh, I'm sure the, the chair will have additional questions uh, to my own when it comes to his own uh, participation. Thank you, thank you, Senator. Senator Martin Con.